what's up guys? It's Coach Remo here again with Swing King U. And man, we're here today to come help you become a Swing King. That's right. Man, ain't this a beautiful day? It is a day the Lord has made. So let's be glad in it. You know why you should be glad? Because we get to practice some baseball, man. You know God is all over baseball. So look, we're going to give you just a couple drills today using a PVC pipe. If you didn't get a chance to check out our first video with this, we gave a couple drills using a PVC pipe to help increase bat speed and give you a better swing. Go check out that one if you don't get a chance. It's right here below. You can just click that link after you're done watching this one and you'll get two other videos. But here's two of my favorites using a PVC pipe. We use these all the time. Hitters that come in, especially if they have certain habits we're trying to break. And I want to remind you, this is why using a PVC pipe is very beneficial for you as an individual or even if you're a coach with a team of practice. Man, you don't have to have guys just sitting around. You can have them doing these things. And what it does is, for me, it takes old habits that are bad and helps create new habits that are good. And that's one of the hardest things and biggest challenges as coaches is to break some of these habits these players have and help them feel the right movement patterns. You know, when your body learns a certain way to move and a certain movement, it's hard to break. So this is a good way to do it, just using a little PVC pipe or any pipe that's five to six feet. You can use a broomstick if you don't have a PVC pipe and this will help your swing. All right, y'all ready to go? Let's go ahead and dominate the play today. We're gonna go with the first drill is gonna be what we call back foot stride to stretch. It's very simple. You're gonna put the pole right in front of your back foot, just like so. We're gonna get in a stance. We're gonna tell our player, or if you're the player, you're gonna go forward with a forward move, load forward move. And what we wanna feel is, we wanna feel our hands get to where they're supposed to be at launch position. So again, you get in front of your back foot, get your hands comfortable. You don't wanna be way up here. You obviously don't wanna be way down here. Get them where you're comfortable, where you like to start your hands. And then from there, I want you to go to your stride or your forward move to launch. From launch, we should see that we walk away from the pole as we go forward. So that creates stretch. Keep the front side straight. A couple things to look for. You want to make sure that as you go forward, you're not just turning your body. You'll feel the pole move back. A lot of guys do that. You can't create stretch that way. Also, it makes you just jump your front side out. So we want to make sure, again, alignment, okay? Shoulders and hips going down the railroad tracks to the pitcher, straight ahead. And with that, as we're straight ahead, belly button straight, we walk away, the pole doesn't do this. So you want to make sure that they're not letting the pole walk forward because that would just be like if we had a rubber band, we pulled it back, man, you got a lot of potential energy in that rubber band. So when you let it go, but if we have that rubber band like this and then we let it go to here and let it go, we don't have near as much. We lost that energy. Same way hitting. I can get here and then right when my foot hits the ground, I let my hands come before I initiate the back hip. Well, then we lost the stretch. We lose the energy. All right. So this is just a way to practice that. If you have a guy who comes crashing down with his hands, we make it feel walk away from the hands. Go forward, hands back, keeping the hands over the back foot. Every elite hitter, if you look at his hands, their hands are gonna be around the back foot area. Okay, so that's what we're looking for, all right? Obviously still wanna have great athletic stance, proper hip hinge, all those things, but the main thing we're working on here is to feel that stretch as I walk away from my hands all the way through heel plant. So I'm holding it, okay? Forward move, holding. Let them feel what that feels like stretch. One thing also to look for, if I show me from the side, Make sure we're not letting this dangle here. So someone will try to walk the pole back by doing this. So you'll see that. You see this angle? We're disconnected from our body. Make sure the forearm bicep angle is tight. In other words, just like making a muscle like this, this way, and make sure the hands are right here by the shoulder. Okay, so when I walk away, I maintain that angle, and I just feel it pull tight, and I'm pulling it from my scap, which holds my hands even through the initiation of my back hip. All right, so that's number one. So number one, we got back foot stride to stretch. Here's another one of my favorites. So you see a lot of guys have that problem with their elbow. They'll get here and they let their elbow go first. We call it a racing elbow. You see a lot of young kids with that, even high school kids. 
creates the bat dragging through the zone, dropping the barrel, a lot of fillet of fish to second base, right? So what we want to do is we want them to learn how this box, when they hit, doesn't change. We let the backside take it. We're not coming here and then doing this. So here's a good drill to, to help that. What you'll do is we call this front elbow on top, and we call this with a back, with the back arm uppercut. Okay, front elbow, back arm uppercut to the body. Bam, bam. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna line up the front elbow on top of PVC pipe. From that position, if you were standing straight, just curl straight up to it. Make sure we don't grab it like this. We curl straight up 90 degrees, get in our position. From there, we come to launch, and we're gonna just let the backside take us through. So that front elbow is kind of working up as my palms uppercut into the body. The palm is going straight at the pitcher. Boom. So this helps them realize that my big muscles, my body is what's taking me through the zone, and I'm not changing this angle with my elbow. Man, that is a huge thing you see with guys with that elbow racing, or they get right here and they try to change the box with their hands. And so when we do that, we create a lot of bad issues. So this is just a way to break that habit, all right? That's all this is. The body does it over and over again. We learn great habits, which makes me a great hitter, all right? So look, take those two with you, put those in your homework, do those when you have time, when you can, and those will help get you right and help you become a swing King. Again, I'm Coach Remo. We look forward to you coming back and seeing some more of our videos. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Go ahead and dominate the plate. Be strong. Be strong.